This video is brought to you in association with Make Jewellery, the UK's best jewellery making magazine. For exclusive subscription offers, visit www.craftyclub.net. Hi, my name is Kate Hemmings and I'm pleased to welcome you back to part two of our crystal ball pendant demonstration. I'm joined by Corinne Brad, who's going to be showing us how to complete our pendant. Hi, Corinne. Hello, Kate. Yes, as you can see, we've so far threaded on the majority of the beads and then when you pull it tight, you've got your, well, we're nearly halfway there. So it's got a nice rounded it's shape. It's got a nice rounded shape to it, yeah. And as I say, the beauty of doing it with a big bead like this is you can see more easily. And also, it doesn't need anything inside it to support the structure. Okay. If you do it with bichrome crystals, as I've said before, you need to put a pearl inside it to keep it completely round. So we're just going to do the last few bits of this. We've already made um, a five petal flower shape, which is exactly half of the, the pendant. We're threading on the other beads, and as you can see, we've got, between these two threads here, we've got these three beads in a row. So, I'll just take your eye out with the thread. <laughs> Sorry, Kate. Um, in this layer, we're just threading one bead onto each thread, crossing the th threads over on the bead on the left, uh, on the right-hand side. I couldn't remember my left and my right there for a minute. And they're a good sign, Corinne. Like this. And then pulling, and then pulling it tight. Okay, and then again we thread this right hand thread through the two adjacent beads that are formed here. Pull it tight. Got three beads left, nearly done. Nearly there. So, one on each side again. One on each side again. And then I'll just show you how you place the last bead, which makes the whole pendant. We've just, uh, you know, at the minute it, you can't see that it's going to be a ball because it still looks very open. Yeah, I was going to say, I'm surprised yeah. you've just got one bead left no, after this is those it. two. Also, if you were doing this with bicones, this is the point where you really want to put the pearl in the centre of it to check right, the okay. fit. Um, if you're using four millimetre bicones, something like an eight or a ten millimetre pearl will be perfect. Okay. Look at that. Right, there is just that one gap in the middle there. Mm-hmm. So what we do is we, you've got a thread coming out here. Yep. And let's just see, yeah. You thread this cord here, the left hand cord, through these three beads here. One. Two. Three. Oh, come on. Okay. So it's right opposite where this this thread is coming out. Okay, mm -hmm. so you've got four beads. You've got four beads here, you've got four beads there. Take your last bead. The all-important last The all-important last bead. Put the left-hand thread through in one direction. Put the right-hand thread through in the other direction. And then when you pull it Look tight, you have a ball. That is amazing. It is amazing. And then all you need to do is to finish it off, you just thread these threads back through because you'll need to knot these threads. So thread them back through two beads on each side. Just like this. One there, one there. As you can see, I've got yard, well, not yards of thread, but I've got a fair bit of thread. But isn't it amazing how much thread this has used when yeah. you consider how long that piece was in the first place? Um, and like you say, it's always best to have a bit too much, yeah. then not enough. The thing is, what you can do, if you measure yourself out a metre of thread, if you make the ball up and then realise you've still got, you know, 30 centimetres left on either side, take it apart, cut your thread down so you're not wasting any of it, and make it again. And it's all good practice. And it is all good practice. So I'm just going to... I've thread, threaded that through the two beads on each side, tie a knot in it, and put it tight. So you'll need to knot it several times, and then I would advise also you then run the thread back all the way around the ball and knot it again on the other just side. Just for extra security. And trim it just for extra security. But I do think, I mean, perhaps a little bit large for a pendant. <laughs> it's definitely but, got um, the wow factor, but it's definitely, Corinne. Yeah, it's, it's like a molecule, really, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> on that note, thank you very much. That's all we've got time for here today. But if you've enjoyed this project demonstration, do stop by the Crash Channel and leave us a comment or subscribe. See you next time.